All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, data structures, beta, learn basic string and array methods by building a music player. Step 11. All right. So now we need a way to display the songs in the UI or user interface. To do this, we'll create a render songs function using the arrow function syntax. An arrow function is a shorter and more concise way to write functions in JavaScript. I also call it uh, concise syntax personally. Uh, it's a function expression, which is a function that's assigned to a variable, right? Uh, here's an example of how an, pardon me, here's an example of an arrow function with a single parameter and a single expression in the function body, right? So we've got const example arrow function equals a parameter right here. And we don't really need the parentheses if there's just one parameter. Uh, and then we're going to have the arrow and then right here, the little object with the uh, return statement in it, right? Uh, and then we, pardon me, and then if the function body consists of a single expression, we can omit the curly braces and the return keyword. And this is called implicit return. So we've got something like this, const example arrow function equals, and then the parameter right here, and then we have the arrow again, and just the parameter. Or, because that doesn't make sense why I have a parameter, just return a parameter. You know, uh, it would be like parameter plus one or parameter dot uh, filter something. We'll learn all that stuff later. Uh, so now we're gonna use the arrow function syntax to create a render songs function that takes in array as its parameter, all right? So for this one, what we're going to do is say const render songs. All right. And then we're going to have that equal array as the parameter. And then we're going to have the arrow. And right now we're going to just have the empty object like that with the uh, semicolon afterwards. So let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 12. And we'll see you next time.